This bug dornament gives you extra resilience when you wear it. And there are a lot of other bugs and glitches like this that can be really helpful. There are ways to get double loot, skip encounters, and get tons of XP. So in this video, I'll go over the most useful glitches in Destiny 2. I'm Marshix and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. As mentioned before, there are ways to get extra stats by using armor ornaments. It sounds weird, but changing your ornaments can improve your gameplay. There have been a few of these stat increasing ornaments in the past that were fixed, but I recently learned of another set that works. The rekindled chest piece from Solstice will give plus one to resilience just for wearing the ornament on your chest piece. That might not sound like much, but in some situations, this could push you over to the next full tier or make it so that you only need a minor resilience mod. It's not game changing, but it's really nice to have and it's not like you're giving up anything important for it. And if you've ever used D2 Armor Picker, you may have noticed this plus one resilience button. That's exactly for this, and they keep it vague for reasons. The next glitch allows you to get double loot and easily farm red border weapons like peace of mind. In the PsyOps Battlegrounds Cosmodrome, after defeating the boss, you'll get teleported into this room. Grab your two chests, then sprint as fast as you can back to the start. It helps if you have a lightweight weapon or an exotic that increases sprint speed, but those aren't mandatory. Keep running until you reach the load zone for the outside section, then turn around and run back. This will reset the chests so you can open them again. And once you reach this point, you'll be teleported directly to them. This means you get four chances at deep sight versions of these weapons. Most notably, peace of mind, explosive personality, and under your skin. And you can get even more loot thanks to today's sponsor, Factor. Factor offers fresh, delicious, ready-made meals delivered straight to your doorstep. Let's be honest, we all just want a quick bite to eat so we can get back to playing Destiny. With Factor, just grab a meal, stick it in the microwave for two minutes, and it's ready to eat. It's quicker and healthier than ordering fast food, and there's no meal prep or cleanup necessary. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less. And their meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of over 27 delicious meal options and over 33 add-ons like smoothies, desserts, and more. Have I mentioned how delicious Factor is? I've enjoyed every meal I've had so far, and I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for fast, easy, and delicious food. Meal plans range from 4 to 18 meals per week, and you can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs. You can easily modify your food preferences, or even skip a week if needed. Try Factor today and use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGMARSHIK60 for 60% off your first box. That's over half off. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Try it out, I love it, and I know you'll love it too. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. The next glitch will make a lot of people mad, but I've found it very useful this season. In Expedition, you have to throw these exotics at the payload. It takes a while for a lot of them to spawn, but there's actually a way to duplicate them to speed up the mission. And this is a little bit different than it was at the beginning of the season. Grab one and stand on top of another. Throw the one you're holding, and as soon as you start the animation for throwing it, pick up the second one. The one you threw is now on the ground, and it still counts towards the objective. Then just do this over and over until it's filled. This glitch can save minutes of running around, but fair warning though, you will go so fast that the champions don't spawn. Another useful glitch in Expedition allows you to get up to four chests at the end. Get to the end and ignore the main chest. Dig for one in the back, then kill yourself with a rocket. While you're dead, you can insert a new map, then when you respawn, you can dig up another chest. And you can do it one more time for the final one. Once all three are dug up, you can open the main chest and leave. One thing to note, if you are doing this with other players, you won't be able to get loot from already dug up chests. Instead, you all need to dig at the same spot at the same exact time, so you all get loot. But if you'd rather go to the mission solo so no one else messes it up for you, try out this next glitch. You can block your matchmaking so that you never get paired with random people. This allows you to do any activity in the game completely solo, minus Gambit and Crucible. This means you can easily do things like the previous glitch for double loot, farm specific enemies for titles, or speed up your bounties for faster XP and Bright Dust. To do this on Xbox, log into Destiny on an alt account, it can be free to play. Then, without closing the game, sign out of your alt account and into your main account. And it's that easy. For PlayStation, it's as simple as changing your console date and time to any time far in the future. Then for PC, there's no way to block matchmaking without using a sketchy third-party software and potentially getting you banned, so maybe don't try it on PC. Next up isn't technically a glitch, but it's a way to exploit old systems in the game to easily get legendary shards, and this will be huge next season, assuming it doesn't get patched. In collections, you can buy blue transmat effects for 1000 glimmer each. You can then go to Amanda Holiday in the tower and convert three blue transmat effects into one purple transmat effect. This can be dismantled into a legendary shard. 
In other words, you can essentially buy legendary shards for 3000 glimmer each. Now, why is this going to be so good next season? Well, Bungie is updating public events so they drop more glimmer. Up to 12,000 glimmer for each heroic event, and even more if you have glimmer boosters. You'll get well over 20,000 glimmer every couple minutes and be able to convert all of it into legendary shards. Just don't tell Bungie about this, I really want to try it out. Another interesting thing you can do with collections is buy weapons, then dismantle them to get most of your materials back, and get gunsmith rank in the process. Blue items give 1 rank, and legendaries give 5 rank, and exotics aren't worth it at all. It's going to cost a bit, but this can help push you over to the next rank up, and with the glimmer changes, they'll be easier to buy next season. While we're in the tower, let's go over another bugged item. The always on time sparrow from the exotic kiosk, for whatever reason, lies about its speed. It claims to be a 160, which is the fastest type in the game, but in reality, it's a lot faster than that. Compare it to any other 160, and you'll find that it's noticeably faster, making it the fastest sparrow in the game because of a bug. Like I said before, you can get this in the exotic kiosk in the tower, but you will need 240 spoils of conquest. Stick around to the end of the video for a glitch that allows you to get those completely solo. The next glitch allows you to turn invisible to enemies and skip certain encounters in Master and Grandmaster Nightfalls. Using the chair pop emote will move the position of your head backwards. If you use this against a wall and your head goes far enough into the wall, enemies will not be able to target you. This is helpful in encounters like the Warsat section of the Saber Nightfall where you have to capture a zone. Just stick your head right here into the Warsat and you can sit there until it's done. And the same thing goes for the elevator section of the Scarlet Keep. Use the Royal Alignment emote inside one of the pillars and you don't have to deal with any of the snipers. You can also use Throne of Atheon, Luxurious Toast, and the Seed of Power to do similar tricks in different positions. I showed this off in a previous video, and I'll be honest, the original idea for this video was glitches that the Destiny community doesn't want you to know about, and I distinctly remember someone getting really mad in the comments about this glitch, because they really didn't want Bungie to patch it. So I added this in for him. I couldn't find the original comment, but shout out to that guy. And if you want to get a shout out like that guy, leave a funny comment and I'll read the best ones in the next video. There's a way to get tons of XP by spawn killing dozens of enemies every minute. On the moon, head down to the Hall of Wisdom area. Kill everything in the room, then walk into the entrance of the tunnel. For some reason, the game doesn't consider you in the same room anymore, and the enemies all respawn clumped together. You can easily kill all of them with a grenade, an explosive weapon, or something with incandescent. It doesn't really matter. Then, after only 4 seconds, they respawn again. And again. And again. You can use this to farm XP, Triumphs, Engrams, although they are really rare, and things like candy for Festival of the Lost. Now, that's not optimized. To do that, bring a Titan with Roaring Flames and Ashen Wake. This will give you unlimited grenades and ensure that you kill everything as fast as possible. You can also use the Roaring Flames timer to keep track of when everything spawns. Once it's around 16 seconds, throw your grenade and you shouldn't mess it up. And I would never encourage you to turn this into an AFK farm using a macro or some sort of device on a controller, but it is possible. Next is a way to get up to 21 raid chests every week without a fire team. But you'll have to check out this video to learn how. And be sure to check out Factor using my code. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.